Good morning, welcome to Morning Reviews. This is Kim Watson speaking on Thursday the 5th of May. Looking at the Euro dollar first and well we did see a follow through yesterday to the downside but since then we've pretty much been in some consolidation. Um, I think it's an underestimate in terms of the consolidation when you look at yesterday's trading range. Um, and this morning, well, if I bring this down to a five minute, it's uh, anyone's guess. Uh, so uh, let's throw a coin. Um, realistically, we've still got untouched uh, monthly, uh, weekly pivots below. So there is a possibility we could sell off at that point at some point. Um, I think it'd be a big hope to, uh, or a big uh, ask to get down to that weekly pivot now, the way price is going. Um, we may later in the month get down to the monthly pivot, but at the moment it's just consolidating here. Maybe, uh, we've just got to be careful when it's consolidated so much, uh, but uh, maybe a break to the lows was here, running down towards yesterday's lows and maybe the S1. Um, a break above the pivot, well, maybe towards the 50 stroke uh, daily R1. Um, yesterday's highs maybe even, but the, the, the problem is when the market's like this, you, you get so many fake outs. It's uh, your potential fake outs, a bit of a push to the upside a little bit, get traders in and a push down to the downside. So it's a market perhaps best watched until it really gives it, shows its hand. Okay, uh, pound dollar. Well, again, saw the, the bearish engulfing, saw the follow through yesterday. Um, it's uh, at the moment having a bit more of a rally, uh, short term, intermediate term rather, and uh, seen a decent sort of move through the Asian session here. It's pushed up above a bit, back above its uh, daily pivot here, looking a little bit more bullish back towards the sort of weekly maybe. Um, but again, any sort of break of this trend line, perhaps we could uh, see yesterday's lows in the S1 uh, hit. It's not massively convincing this move at the moment, uh, it's, but it's a nice steady uh, steady rise, which uh, perhaps we may get a fake to the bottom and a continuation to the top. We'll have, again, we'll have to watch this. You just see this very tight range. Okay, it's, it's running up, but it's a very tight range. Dollar Yen, uh, well, consolidated. Um, once again, very tight range, and it's the story of these markets. Uh, the range is tightening. Um, and again, we've got potential fake outs. There, there seems to be a, a lovely trend line across the, the highs here, potentially. Uh, if you see a break of that, well, we could be bullish up towards yesterday's highs, even says, uh, what, get the right day, Tuesday's highs, and maybe the R1 area. It is looking like it's uh, softened a little bit, the uh, yen against the dollar, and we're seeing this perhaps further upside may be the easiest route. Aussie dollar, um, well, again, continuation, much the same as the pound in its move. Down to its monthly S1 now, and a decent bounce off that so far. Uh, there were some decent, uh, or some decent numbers come out for the trade balance, slight recovery, and some other numbers that were quite positive, uh, Aussie wise. Um, but it's it's uh, it's struggling around about its weekly R1 at the moment. Perhaps a push above that sort of level. We sort of almost got an inverted head and shoulder ish. Um, Cup and handle, or some like it, but it's the wrong way around. Um, it just if it pra perhaps a break above that sort of area, I can see us running up further towards the R2. But the range has been pretty tight of yesterday again, um, making it uh, uh, more difficult to see any decent range coming through today at the moment, and particularly with the FOMC. Oh, sorry, FOMC non farm payrolls. I got some people worried there. Finally, Canadian dollar. But before we look at that, so a quick look at what oil's up to. So oil, slight recovery um, through the Asian session there. Uh, just have a look at the L, it's a little bit clearer. Yeah, quite a bounce from yesterday's lows. Um, right, let's uh, look at Canadian dollar now. You can see, well, actually, Canadian dollar's come off a bit. It's just run through. It's a lovely trend line down there, which it broke. Um, it's caught 34. It's 
will be a shock if it got up towards the 50 there uh, all falls over again today it'd be an easy easy move in terms of range but uh, it uh, seems to be coming off that uh, daily 34 at the moment and back to the daily pivot um, ball, f ball flaggish pattern um, if it can bounce from here well we could see some further upside there Again, yesterday for long periods it was relatively slow and then it suddenly took off but uh, it's obviously not as choppy as anything else and seems to be trending reasonably well so whether or not uh, we can see some a bit more uh, oil weakness or CAD strength or dollar strength rather um, against the CAD and see if we can push up a bit further but it, it has had a good run here targets to the upside well Yesterday's highs, R1, certainly a possibility, as I say, within this range. And uh, maybe that uh, 50 MA, daily 50. Um, any sell-off, well, uh, we'd be looking back towards the monthly pivot and the 50 EMA on the alleys there. Okay, that's pretty much it from that point of view. Looking today at the uh, news stories uh, due out. Um, well, we've already seen the Aussie figures, uh, retail sales, trade balance, both came in better than expected. Uh, we've got services PMI in the UK today, major, uh, quite a big figure, it's a big part of the GDP, so that's at 9.30. And US, um, really that's it until we got the US unemployment claims, it's just a weekly number, but the weekly number in between ADP and, and the uh, monthly numbers non-farms sometimes will give us a bit more of a kicker so we'll watch out for that 130. Um, that 430 there is a FOMC speaker due to speak at Centre County Economic Summit. I don't suppose that's going to create too much at that point but you never know what they'll say. So at 430 I would be a bit careful but uh, you may want to be on a day like this down the pub at that stage. Right that's it for me. Hope you have a great one. Bye for now.